Hey there everybody, this is Franco and I'm going to give you another update on my PM25MV milling machine CNC conversion using the Centroid Acorn CNC control system. So the most recent addition to the project is limit switches. And I'll give you a quick snapshot here of what I've done. Let me try to find something, shine a little light on here. I have added, uh, this would be a place to mount a limit switch for the Y-axis. Right here, we have the limit switch for the X-axis. And up here, we have the limit switch for the Z-axis. And these pieces, most of this work pretty well. This is a prototype, so had a few things that I need to change. One of them, I uh, miscalculated this part right here, so I need to remake this part. But I got it rigged up here, it's functional. We'll give you the demo. So there it is, we got the Z-axis just kind of hanging off over there. X-axis under this cover, and Y-axis right there. So I designed these brackets uh, with the thought that, you know, you would have a, a switch for positive and negative on each uh, rail, but with the uh, centroid system, you can uh, you can really just live with one homing switch on each each axis. In Mach 3, I was never comfortable with that because you could accidentally turn the soft limits off and forget about it and run your machine into the hard stop, which is you know not not good for it. But with the way the centroid software works, once you enter those uh, soft limits, you, you really can't turn them off. So it's it's pretty cool. So these brackets were designed to have uh, two switches on X and Y, uh, but I really only need one switch on X and Y, and that's how I have it hooked up. Uh, okay, so let me uh, give you a quick demo here. I'll just show you what this looks like. So all you have to do um, to make it home is just press this button here that says Reset Home. So let me do that while I aim the camera at the machine. I'll show you what it, what it does. First thing it's going to do is move Z. Then Y. And then X. And there we go. Home position is set. So if I come over here on the keyboard and I press Alt D, there's the machine position. We're at X0, Y0, Z0. And if I can jog the machine here with one hand, I'll show you. Uh... Okay, so I told you I had soft limits programmed into it. So here, here we go. I'm just going to run the x-axis all the way to the other side of its limit. Move this here. Hang on. Okay, here we go. There we go. It stops right at its soft limit, which right now I have set to 17.9. And y-axis will do the same thing. Right now I have it set to 6.65. And Z-axis, uh, I just have a number sort of thrown in there just because, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But Z-axis has a limit too. So that works very well. So really easy, one switch per axis, and uh, that is how the machine homes, and then you have to enter in some soft limits. So, kind of cool. Uh, one of the things that they just added with the latest version of the Centroid software is the ability to have all of the homing switches on one input. And that, that's a really nice feature because that's going to save you, um, you know, a couple of inputs on your Acorn board. So you literally can have all your homing switches wired into one input. Uh, so let me show you software 
how I did that, how I configured it in CNC Wizard. And um, let me just get a screenshot of that. So here is the screen number one, primary system configuration. And I have input number one set to home all. And I have my switches wired up in the normally closed uh, configuration, which is how you would usually want to do that. So that's it. That's all you have to do for the inputs. Under access configuration, you now need to tell the software that you're homing to a switch. And then, you know, you can give it the homing direction, you know, whether it's positive or negative, the direction you want it to move in. Um, and down here are your travel limits. So my plus limit on everything is zero and my minus limit, well, you can see the values. And here is the one little, little caveat that I'm going to throw in there. So initially when I did this, I, you know, I had, uh, well, zero in for all the plus limits. And then I had values in for the X and the Y. So I had negative 17.9 in there for X. I had negative 6.65. For y, I didn't put a value in for z because I wasn't really worried about it. I'm not. I'm not usually worried about over traveling z in the minus direction because you know the tool or something's going to hit before you know you hit hit any kind of soft limit. And what I noticed was um, without a value in the uh, you know I had zero for plus and minus. Uh, it it didn't know how to calculate. Uh, any soft limit. So it would actually allow the software to over travel in plus and minus on the Z axis. So once I came back and I put a value in, uh, I just picked negative 8.8. .8 and eventually what I'll probably do is just put the value that the maximum permissible value that, you know, where the, uh, the empty spindle just will clear the table. Uh, but without any values in there, it doesn't know Apparently, it won't calculate any soft limits, plus or minus. So you have to have some values in here. So on my configuration, it's 0, 0, 0 for plus, and then all negative numbers for minus. And that uh, works really well. Okay, so I configured that in the wizard, but I want to show you where you see these values inside of CNC12. Inside of CNC12, you can see those values if you go to Setup, Config, Machine, Jog. And on this screen, you can see the uh, travel plus and travel minus values right here. And you may find that it's, it's more convenient to set these while you're running CNC 12. Now, the nice thing about CNC 12, you know, unlike uh, some other uh, CNC control software is uh, a lot of these values take effect immediately. So you, you can set these values and press save and they're, they're active right away. And the reason why that's nice is you, you may not actually know what your uh, travel limits are, right? You need to sort of experiment a little bit. You got to be really careful. Well, what you can do is you can come over here, you can do an Alt D switch into your machine coordinate system and you can jog the machine around and see what the machine coordinates are as you're getting closer and closer to where you think your hard limits are and uh, then you can just put those numbers right in the uh, appropriate uh, register there in the setup screen all right well this video's I want to keep this one under 10 minutes so almost there one last thing i want to say is special thanks to marty's cnc garage uh, I, before I do anything, I always go watch uh, Marty's videos because he makes really good videos. They're well done. They're very informative. I can tell he spends a lot of time uh, to make them as nice as they are. So thank you, Marty. And I would encourage you know anybody working with these uh, Centroid Acorn control boards to definitely check out Marty's YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, be safe.